I got it. Huh? I did it. I freaking did it. Um, what do you mean, what is that mic quality? Is it not good? Hello? What's wrong? What? Why aren't my speakers working? Are you kidding me? <sighs> there we go. <gasps> Okay, we did it. We we did it, guys. Mystery of the non-working mic. Haven't you guys figured it out yet? Haven't you figured it out? I am heck wizard. I am tech wizard. My name is Wizard Tech. I'm trying now to get the music to play. To get the music to play. I have I have very good my music is sehr gut. Sehr schön. There it is. We're doing it, folks. Nobody panic. God. Now will it work? You guys hear that? No, you can't. Probably can't hear that because you can't hear it. It's probably why you can't hear it because you can't hear it, guys.
The inability of healing, hearing would make us not hear. Who would have known? So true. We're back, YouTube. We're back. We're back, and I want to get these stupid sounds to play. I really think this is great. This is really great. All right, I guess we're going without the cool sound effects this time. This time, no cool sound effects, guys. I had all the cool stuff. I can give you a little sample of it. We'll give a little sample. We'll do a teaser. This is what it could have been. We could have had this sound. We could have had this sound after a good joke. Well, that was the applause again, but we could have had this sound after a good joke. Imagine after every zinger, every zinger, we could have done this. Imagine how good this stream would have been. Now it's going to suck. And what about this one? Whenever something sad happens? Womp womp. Or what about when an epic gamer pog moment happens? What if we played this? Could have been so epic. But yeah, here we are. No epic, no epic things in sight. Really disappointing, guys. And by the way, we could have had this. I even added a custom sound, which is the Spartan chant. We could have had the Spartan chant, guys. Imagine how good this would have been. But now we can't have those on my stream because guess what? If I leave them on, every single other desktop sound play. So you guys are going to be able to hear every single thing on my desktop. Not the way that we roll. This ain't the way that we roll here. This ain't, ain't how we roll, dog. Sorry, I don't know what to tell you, Igu. Egoist, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, dude. There's nothing we can do. There's nothing we can do, dude. Literally nothing we can do. It. It's over.
Why did you capture your capture your therefore now worthy of call it? All right, are we ready for this tier list? We ready? Okay. Get YouTube up. Okay. Who's going to send me Central Levant? Yes, I will do Central Levant tier list today. Thank you. M. Bond sent it. M. Bond sent it. Wow, this one's high quality. High quality tier list. We gotta get started though, because we are supposed to start like an hour ago. That's what happens, guys. Are you bitch? Here we go. Welcome, everybody. We are officially starting the Central Levant tier list. Garrisons, specifically. Garrisons in the Central Levant. So, we're going to start with whatever garrison I feel like starting with. 
Get to Central Levant. Okay, we're in Central Levant. So is it day nighttime again? Whatever. Sun will rise soon. you guys' thoughts in the chat? Should we do polls? Have me rank them. I think we're going to hold off on the poll. Mostly because I've done them all so far. Actually... Why not do polls? You guys can decide what the is. You guys probably know better than me. Hello, do you guys want to vote or not? By the way, you guys are going to get... If you want more Credenzio coin, you can do TTS messages and you'll also get funny little TTSs every time that are different based on the price. You can donate with a super chat or you can donate with the TTS link. So I'll send the TTS link on Twitch. TTS link is coming on Twitch, but on. But yeah, it is a Streamlabs donation. 
There you go, it's pinned. There you guys go. Okay. Here we go. No pull. You guys don't want to pull. You want me? You want my superior judgment. Okay, fine. You will use my superior judgment. Fair enough. Okay. Let's go, Central Levant. Let's start with the Guido camp. And in honor of the Teutons, I will wear one of their outfits. Hey. The Teutons today. Wow, okay, I bugged my I'm the in action. We're gonna be Maltese today then. Okay. We're starting off with good old Megiddo Camp. Everybody's favorite Megiddo Camp. Alright boys, what are we thinking about this this outpost? As far as tearing. Pretty barren. Connects to Southern Levant, so strategically kind of important. Not a ton going on. Guido Oasis, that sounds... There's some little towns and stuff, although I wish there was a little path to this. I guess this is a ruined house. Path necessary. Supposed to be a little oasis over here. Go check out the oasis. You guys are really gambling them. I don't know how I feel about gambling. Isn't that immoral? Some oasis this is. God, I was really expecting there to be an actual oasis. It's just a pond. A pond and a... F and a... F Floating box. Belides! Belides! You need to fix this. Everybody ping Belides in general chat. Oh, wait. He's banned. DM him then. Okay, this is like a C tier at most. Only reason it's C tier is because of its strategic position. But this is not a good garrison. Even for the fact that it's... Just now post... Freaking pond. Could have at least put some palm trees around. Off to Nazareth. Birthplace of our Lord. Let's at least see if Nazareth is looking good. Remember, guys, you can participate on Twitch and YouTube. Open them both up. You can get double Credenzio coins. And, of course, the Credenzio coins are used to buy tickets 
for giveaways. The more tickets you have, the more likely you are to win the giveaway, although it is not guaranteed. I like these new farm models. Nazareth B tier, he says, your bid is a W. I was just here the other day filming a tutorial. Well, I gotta be honest, I spent probably the least amount of time in Central Levant of all the Levants. Theo has just not hosted me enough. It's small, but it's cute. It's unique. See, this is what they should have done for Ebelin. See these nice, appropriately sized walls with just a little bit inside? Or actually, what's that place outside of Arsuf? This is the walls that they need at that place outside of Arsuf. Uh, the new garrison. One of the Castellums. Be a lot better. Lake Nazareth. Nazareth's Watchtower. We're going to go check it all out. Waffles is now following. Thank you, Waffles. Follow. Appreciate it. Oh, it's an actual tower, not a wooden tower. That's nice. Very bright, but nice little addition out here. It's kind of just a tower in the middle of nowhere. It doesn't really make a ton of sense. Um, Nazareth is a B tier. Give Nazareth a B tier. Strategically, kind of important, but how much going on? Be right back. Stuck in a market stall. Let's see if we can escape. Come on, get out. There we go. We're we're scooting. Scooting. Hypus. I like Hypus actually. It's very important strategically. It actually anchors multiple positions. You can see. It acts as a basis to capture Nazareth and hold off any invasions from Southern. And it's also a direct connection to Sicily. So it is strategically really important. Resource, fruits of the land, so great. Nothing great as far as resources. And it's a stronghold. So I do feel like Kyphus is A tier. It's not. I mean, visually it is very nice. It's got a lot of things going on outside. Is there any Easter eggs in Kyphus that I should know about? Box. No tunnels I can see. I like it. I think Kyphus is an A. Why isn't Nest here? Might be asking. Well, it's not S tier because I just don't think visually it's striking enough. And it's strategically very important. But it doesn't produce the best stuff. 
A tier. A tier for Kyphus. Getting close to Zakanen. Which is a, just a tiny little outpost out here. Um, I do like these cities that are just kind of like self-contained with these tiny little walls. Like it's just a little village. A city is too strong of a word. Is there an interior to this house? Has the blacksmith symbol. Kind of annoying. That it has a blacksmith on it and not a blacksmith. Whoever did that needs to be fired. Reprimand them immediately. I mean, Zekanin's obviously a lot nicer than some of the other outposts. I don't think it's quite Nazareth level, but it's definitely better than the Guido. A lot going on outside of it. Strategically interesting. Gosh. Okay, this isn't Malbor. Belvoir is really close to. Board to be taken. Backing in. Who's this Lemonite? I'm going to give it B tier. Low Nazareth. Next. Iberius. Iberius is pretty goaded. I love that tower. That tower is pretty sick. The church tower is sick. I love the freaking... If it had an interior, this would be S tier. Awesome. Very cool. Very cool. Nazareth is based. Or Tiberius. Got a little things going on outside. I like Tiberius a lot. Like, I would hang out here all the time. Looks mildly defensible. Right next to the beautiful Lake Tiberius, which is really cool. I feel like A tier is appropriate. Like it's having a little bit of a flooding problem.
Galilee Cavern. Check that out. Checking out Galilee Cavern. Five coins every five minutes. Five coins every five minutes. Basically one coin a minute, but it's paid out every five minutes. Oh, another cave with nothing in it. Good idea, but nothing in it. Moving on, I think. This is my favorite one so far, I think. Not quite as strategically important as anything else, so it's going to have to go below Kyphus, but I do like it a lot. Being next to a lake is a nice touch. Look at the nice scenery here. And so we ride north. Jacob's Ford. Jacob's Ford, gentlemen. Yeah, the caves could be improved. What a beautiful view. Central Avon is gorgeous. Wow. If only Leo and Gallant was still alive to see. Here we are. Jacob's Ford. A fortress. Central's really interesting. You have two independent streams of land like this separated by a big dead zone, making it very hard to invade through because it's basically just a straight line. Um, Jacob's Ford, interesting. See, take notes about Evelyn. Like, you could have made Evelyn like this. It don't have to be houses. It can just be a fortress, but you have this little training yard. No, it's... It's serviceable. Oh, actually, yeah, Jacob's Ford's sick. I forgot has a lot of really cool elements, like these bridges. Yeah, this eastern side of Jacob's Fort, very nice. Like, look at that. I know it's probably a pain to defend with all these entrances, but I imagine fighting over Jacob's is really fun. Could use a little more stuff on that ridge, but... Now this is cool. Like Moggy, Moggy Swamp. Flooding looks like a fucking mole hideaway down here. This is the kind of stuff that we need. That's really neat. I guess one comment logistically would be you know, you have one side entrance here and then a secret entrance next. Oh, this actually doesn't work. Never mind. Kind of interesting why they have this. It doesn't work. Um, Kind of awkward, but at the same time, cool. Um, Parkour up that. So not super defensible, but very cool. And I imagine fighting here is very fun. I can imagine fights here are very enjoyable. Um, 
I think just for uniqueness, it moves to Jacob's and defensibleness as far as, I mean, strategic positioning. Reduces wrought iron ingots. Oh, I'm sorry. I think these are... These might be the new values that we just put in. So I'm not sure if values are correct. They actually look wrong. Essentially. Either way, um, Jacob's Ford, I'm going to put in low S. I really like the creativity of the design. It doesn't take much, guys. Just a little creativity and buy you a lot. Um, Jacob's Ford's really cool. S tier. Keep moving. Also, it's got this area up here, which is neat. We approach there, a miss. I'm betting there's been a lot of cool battles between Teutons and French at Jacob's Ford. I'd love to see that. Here, miss. How many in the chat says it's an S? Teutonic. Go uh -huh, the silver market's a little junk. Oh, uh, yes, I've seen big battles here. Cool interior. My head upside down in a chimney, very nice. It's cool, I mean, S tier seems a little bit generous. I do like it. I just don't think there's enough going on here for it to be S tier. There's nothing uniquely creative about it. S tier seems very gen. It has a close spawn. Very hard to capture. I mean, I think high A is appropriate. It is very defensible. And it's not ugly, it's cool. I'm going to put it in A. I don't even think it's as good as Kyphus. Really? Let's go on to Aya Turn. I, I to run. Oh, there's something underground, a deer? Oh, cool. That's really neat. Oh, wow. I love that. I love that. Like a... That's really... That is neat. 
Jerusalem Holy Wine. Benja Beer. Abba Up. Very cool. I like this a lot. Oh, Belidus is here. Really cool. I love this. I really do. Okay, this moves it up. Above Kyphus. Honestly. Yeah, lower S. Yeah, that's really cool. Just high A. Thanks for pointing that out. Luke, you gotta... Luke the Master, you gotta get your Hawkmeister to get back to me. He's supposed to be doing an interview with me. Waiting anxiously to interview Trask. Okay, as far as, like, outposts go, I actually really like this one. We might have to do another S tier, because... This little area over here is so cool. God, Central is just so awesome. There's so many, like, cool little areas with the river. This is just really awesome. This is, like, this little level, like, this is so fun to fight at. I wish the water actually looked good, but we can fix that. It's just so cool. Yeah, this is really neat, guys. Um, do we feel like S tier is appropriate for I to run? I mean, for an outpost, this is about as cool as it gets. Roblox, I am currently tier listing. B tier. No oh, man, it's pretty cool. Like that's just such an interesting setup. It also has an infernum zone. It's nearby an infernum zone. Okay, that settles it. It's S tier. You gaming now. Imagine if the Templars had as good as garrisons as their two brethren. Brethren. Okay, now we get to Mosul territory. The Tula, which I really like as well. You have this giant hill that hackers need to climb up. Loading fence. Elides, please fix. Atula's pretty sick. That's the Infernum Zone over there, I think. Yeah. I don't know, guys. When you look at... 
I feel like you Central Levant people are pretty spoiled. When you look at even this garrison compared to almost any garrison in the southern half of Southern Levant besides maybe Masada, this garrison has more character. Just geographically. You have these giant hills and these things. I mean, this just is very cool. Could it be touched up? Yes. Is it S tier? No. But it is very nice. Mausoleum. Percy's having trouble with the... I do like this. I do like this little camp up here. The Tula, a lot of character, a lot of heart. I think we have to give Matula A tier. You guys are uh, spoiled over here in Central. This is a cool quarry. Match doll we're in. And Match doll is a little quaint little area. It's a little tiny town. Um, I give it a B tier. Strategically super important, it actually cuts off the entire southern central Levant from the northern central Levant. Um, so probably the most strategically important in the entire Levant. Uh, for that reason, it's low A tier. But it, it would be B just based on aesthetics. Or there is enough cool little stuff around here. And you also have the Rocky Farmstead, which is one of the best Infernum zones um, nearby. I could actually move it. I think it's higher A. Just for strategic value. S? I mean, the I think I can give it S, yeah. Just because of the... It's so important. And the rocky farmstead nearby. Being there. Very good. Extra moving to Dymak here. Sun's rising on a beautiful Central Levant morning. Thank you all for joining me in this beautiful Central Levant morning.
Another oasis. Let's see if it's a good one. Nice. This is more of the oasis style I'm looking for, although the trees are outdated. Castle ruins up ahead, which technically aren't in any territory. Diamond here is probably going to be like a C or D. Not much going on. We are in the desert. Oh, wow, a lot of bandits. Very nice. I like that little touch. Um, but Dimac here, I think, is going to be... Especially, is it... Uh, I like it better than Megiddo, but it's not great. It could be used... Here we're coming to a ruined village and bandit, another bandit encampment with no bandits. So that's interesting. Maybe they spawn for a All son of my end. I gotta say the the light coming making these prettier than they I like it. It's a cool little town. I I may have been, I only have only been to this town like once. I've never really been to this area much at all. It's cool. Not a ton going on, but all right. I think like I C tier. I mean, this would be like a B or an A in Southern, or like our grading scales already so warped. Forester's camp, I like that. I think C probably appropriate. Now we're at Nawa camp. It already seems like it's gonna be a little more. Got the Nawa mill. We have a traveler's inn up here.
They really look like an inn. It's a stable. A little much. A little generous to call that an inn, let's be honest. It does look like a northern desert. Hello. Northern. Northern Levant really writes the book on how to do a desert garrison well. Some little ruins. I do appreciate the effort to put a couple things around this area. Um, but it doesn't really do that well. I think this is another seat here. Our camp seat. Now we're in Dara. Castle there, that's neat. Camp. Mercenary camp. Plus you have the Dara Gardens. Oh, this looks nice. By this month. Now we're in Dara. Little city. I like the walls. I do like, I appreciate when they do these smaller walls. Rather than those big jumbo. This feels more appropriate. Very cool. I think Dara does step it up quite a bit from neighbors. I think I'm going to give it a B. Next we have Sonic Tower, which is the Gateway to Mosul. I think I have fought. This is really mid, I'm not gonna lie. There's literally nothing here. Fool's Mirage and Desert's End. It's just a tiny camp here. Fool's Mirage, what's it gonna be? A dried up lake? No, it's actually... This is definitely D tier. This is the worst one. The hut. Dangits have been not getting the greatest stuff compared to everything else. Way better than the southern stuff. D tier for Sahut.
Akindara territory. Now we're in Earbid, so they got the mercenary camp out here. Cemetery. And this is the last garrison down here, and then the rest are up north. What do you guys think of Earbid? Connection from the southern to northern. This actually allows for Muslim alliance between Dangids and Abbasids to be a little more practical, in my opinion, than it otherwise would be. Yeah, I can see it being very important. Your bit outskirts. As far as outposts go, I like it. I think it's like an A. It's like an A. Your bit's an A. Okay. We are over halfway done. Get cracking and get this. We have not done I think B There's three Burnham Zones. Okay, here we are. At Habayer. Habarye. Getting into Ayyubid territories now. Like it. I like this. I like the big temple. Much around it, but it's nice. I do like this little addition on the side. Great, my camera. All right, stand by. We're going to fix the camera. Um, Don't worry. We're going to be doing giveaways. If you haven't gotten your reward, I'm going to just insert it and bond. You're going to get it in your inventory. Be patient. We'll get to it. A bit busy setting up all this stream stuff.
How am I doing? I'm a little tired. Pratilat just endorsed one dollar. Hop on ranked one v one no balls. <laughs> Thank you for the DTS donation, Pratilat. Um, I will do that later, but I'm doing your list right now. Remember, guys, if you leave a donation of $3, there's a special custom image and sound that'll play. $5, a really funny one. $10, another one. $15, another. $20, another. And $50, another. Just keep that in mind. Mount Herman. We didn't rank IDSA, though. Or Hop Habiera. I like Habiera. I think it's B. I think it's the top of B. Now Mount Herman. For some reason Mount Herman gave. And by the way, guys, donating on TTS or Super Chat also gives you or Credenzio coin. So you know. I've got a hack. Mount Herman's nice. Why didn't I just do this the whole time? Save so much time. Mount Herman is nice. Oh, I like this entrance. I like that a lot. If these were two grand towers, it'd be even better. Very nice. I think it's like a B. B tier for Mount Herman. Next, we have Barim Camp. I like this, actually. As far as Outpost, this has some character to it. Got this nice... I really like this model. I think Riker built it, or Ali. Might have been Ali. One of the better models we have in the game. Very nice farm model. I like Kareem. I like Kareem a lot. As far as outposts go, it's very nice. Got these kind of bridges. Yeah, strategically pretty important, huh? I like it. I like it enough to give it an A. I think even above... Typhus, it's really Q 
you guys use the compass and the mini map or just one of them for direction i don't know if i've gotten to hoppa yet i don't think i Here we go. Baalbek City. Baalbek City is very cool. Top of this hill. Baalbek is awesome. Got this huge quarry. Fortress, so it's a little harder to take. Got this awesome building up here and no interior, but a bell. This is really cool. This is a massive quarry too. Massive quarry. Yeah, I think Baalbek has to be S. Very nice. Yeah, look at that. Up that high rise. Um, Yeah, Baalbek is getting an S. Very cool. Um, yeah, I like it a lot. Or does it have anything underneath it? Doesn't look like it has any underground areas. Which is fine. Although I feel like this would be a great place to put like a giant underground tunnel. But it's still very cool. Welcome, Just a Monkey. You're listing Central Harrisons. Got the guard barracks over here, and we are in Ross Balbeck. Tower model always bothered me. Like, Ross Balbeck. Important because it connects to Northern, right? Um, I don't mind it. I think it's like a B tier. I think B tier is face, air. So, essentially what's going on with the bot is, the bot will give, you get Credenzio coins every five minutes that you chat. You get five coins every five minutes when you chat. Um, and, Balbuck. Um, then you can use those coins to play these little mini games where you can basically bet to win more Credenzio coins. And then you can spend the Credenzio coins to buy tickets at giveaways. And for every ticket is like one entry, so... The tickets cost five Credenzio coin, and you can buy a max of 15 per giveaway. So, next 
Next we have Stronghold for Nicosia, I think. This is Ein a crying. Ruined Roman Temple. Very nice. Got this high ground positioning. I feel like the defenses could be much better. We're in Cypriot territory. You know what? For like a stronghold, I'm not that impressed, but it's better than it could be. I'm going to give it like a high C. Now we're heading to Mount Lebanon. Cool little camp. An outpost using one of these towers. Now, I've never seen that. A little inconsistent, but... Eh. It's like a D. Mount Lebanon camp's like a D. There's really nothing going on. Um, I'll, I'll move it to C. This quarry is very cool. This kind of stuff I like a lot. That Paris stuff. That moves it to a D. Okay. Moving west. Now that's a cool, that's a pretty shot. Cool cave over here. Again, nothing in it. Not even some rocks to mine. Cemetery, that's nice. Stable. And here we have the fortress of Byblos. Just nice. It's a nice city. Kind of reminds me of Kyphus. This opening here with no gauge is a little frustrating. I like it. I think it's an A tier. It's also just a very pretty area of the map. These high rises and it's on the coast. Not much coastal stuff going on in central. Most is inland. I like that. Give it. I'd even put it above Kaifas. Keep moving down the coast. Only three left. Flying strategy is really helping. Now, Beirut, which is a seaport. That cool little area over there. OK, 
I kind of don't like how the walls don't actually do anything. Like you... It is a seaport, which is very nice. The only seaport in Central, correct? Yeah, only seaport in Central. This area is very nice. I like this. Seaport. Got some cool areas nearby. Ooh. No, I really like that. That's cool. That's cool. That's what you want to see right there. I think it's an A. Low A. It's a seaport, so it is important. Broke outpost. Sawmill and a renovation site. Okay. Outpost is pretty mid, I'm not gonna lie. There's not much going Um Arm over here. I think it's enough to put it into here. Last we have Beaufort. You, he's a butte for. You ever heard that? All right. Coffee oh, got this little entrance down here. Very nice. Like that. Ooh. Very nice. Wish there were rocks in here, but still, this serves a functional. Very cool. And here it is, Castle. Very nice. Kind of an interesting shape up here on the mountain. Overlooks a lot of cool areas. It's an A. I really like that tunnel that's leading up to it. Yeah, we're going to end it off with an A. So that's it, guys. We have finished our Central Levant tier list. And uh, let me know what you think. Let's do a poll and run it. See what everybody thinks. Then you also are due, you guys are due for a giveaway. Giveaway time. Wait, poll time.
There you go. Vote exclamation point vote space yes or no. This is right here, man. Wow, one no. Stream delay on YouTube. Try to fix it. Guys, vote on the list. Come on. Closing it. Oh, we won. Give away time. Here is the raffle for the helmet. Raffle that entered the ticket amount. Monkeys raffling one, AM Bonds raffling eight. Luke, you do not have 75 tickets worth. Also, Max is 15. Max is 15. However, you can bet on both YouTube and Twitch. You got 142 tickets in the raffle. Nice going, Am Bond. All right, we're going to close the entries. And the winner is Luke the Master. Congrats, Luke the Master. He entered 30 tickets, 15 on Twitch, 15 on YouTube. And he is the winner. He wins a helmet of his choice. Good job, guys. Womp womp. All right. We'll see you guys soon. Got more stuff coming today. Stay tuned. Um, things to come. Don't fret. Okay. Don't worry. Be back.